Hello Morris class, it's Miss Bake here and welcome to your SPAG video. Today is Wednesday the 24th of February 2021. Our learning objective for our SPAG lesson is can I recognise and make compound words? Can I recognise and make compound words? Okie dokie, for this lesson you will need a whiteboard pen and a whiteboard or a piece of paper and something to write with. So if you don't have those things already, go and grab those now. And once you come back, we will move on to the next part of our lesson. OK, let's begin. Oh, and my arrow is not working. There we go. Let's make myself smaller so you can actually see. OK, let's make my, there we go. You can see my lanyard now. Right, a compound word is a, is a word made by joining two separate words and making a new word. Now it can't, now the main thing is to, to pay attention. You cannot just randomly add, for example, bottle and tissue, bottle tissue, that doesn't work. But you can combine a tissue and a box and it's a tissue box. So compound word. Now, a so, so let's try that again. If we combine sun and the word flower makes a sunflower. Sunflower is a real word, just like tissue box is a real word. Okie dokie. Let's see. What else do we have? Oh, I've got one right in front of me. I've got... Din, 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 din. I've got a pencil and a case. Put it inside. Pencil case. There we go. Another compound word. Okay, I don't know why my arrow is not working. Oh, it works now. Okay, can you guess what these compound words are looking at these pictures? Okay, so we've got one here, one here. Dun, 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 dun. Can you guess? We've got a bath and a bathroom fantastic what about next one we've got you guess this one do, 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 do. it's a rainbow well done what about this one books and it's a bookcase fantastic and i've just shown you tissue box and pencil case too okie dokie now can you, we're going to play a quick game, can you make a compound word by joining a word in the first column, so remember our column goes straight up, and this is our second column, okay? Now, are we going to put them in the middle, and we're going to create a word. So, now, arm cake, that doesn't make sense. So, can you tell me, let's do the first one. Arm, what do we need to add onto the end? Is it cake? Is it stick? Is it brush? Paper? Ding, 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 chair, armchair, fantastic. What about this one? We've got tooth. Is it tooth cake, tooth stick, toothbrush or tooth paper? Fantastic, toothbrush, well done. Next one, we have news. Is it news cake, news stick or newspaper? Ding, 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 newspaper, fantastic. Next, we have pan. Is it pan cake or pan stick? Pancake, well done. This could also be a non stick pan. Right. Finally, we have stick and lip lipstick. There we go. It's a stick. Lipstick is a stick that you use on your lips. That's why it's called a lipstick. Okie dokie. Well done for completing that short and fun activity with me. Let's move on to the next part. Okay. Can you work out these clues to make a compound word? Good listening, Morris class. Okay, when it's really cold, you might build one of these outside. So I'll give you five seconds. Can you think? I'll read it again. When it's really cold, you can build or you might build one of these outside. Well done. It's a snowman. Okay, next. Next clue. You might see one of these when it's raining and the sun is shining at the same time. That one's easy. It's a rainbow. Fantastic. 
OK, now these compound words have been mixed up. So we are going to sort them out. So first, let's read these words. A foot pack, drum boy, grand day, a cow stick, back print, every dad. Oh my goodness me. OK, let's sort these out. So let's put these over here on this side. And then let's sort these out. Okie dokie. Now, looking at these words over here, a foot, let's see, is it a foot pack, a foot boy, a foot stick, a foot dad, a foot day, or a foot print? Well done, fantastic. Next, we've got drum. Is it a drum pack, a drum boy, drum stick, dad? Drum dad or drum day? Drumstick, fantastic. Now, next one, is it grand? Tell me what it is. Well done, granddad, fantastic. Oh, there we go. Now, next, tell me what it is. That should be one D, there you go. There we go. <laughs> Nicely run over there. Cow. Boy, well done, cowboy. Next, every day. And last but not least, we have a back pack. Well done, Morris class. Fantastic. Thank you so much for helping me sort out those compound words. Okie dokie, Morris class. We've actually come to the end of our spag. This was our spag lesson for this week. I hope you have fun learning about compound words. Now, your task right at the end, I'm just going to very quickly say, can you go around your house and just like I found a tissue box in my house, which is a compound word, and a pencil case, can you go around your house and can you find objects that are a compound word? It could be shoe box, it could be shoe lace, for example, I'm, not, I'm going to sip it and stop there and I'm going to let you continue to go on to a hunt for your compound words. Once you have found the objects or the items, can you record yourself just saying this is a, for example, this is a shoe box, shoe and box equals shoe box. Put it onto tapestry, I can't wait to see it and I will see you next time. Take care Morris class, bye bye.